Hi, my name is Jill Ordle, and I'm a project specialist here at SICK Incorporated for electromagnetic sensors. And today I'd like to talk to you about our MPA. It's our newest magnetic position analog sensor. But wait a minute, don't we already have one of those? We do. It's called an MPS. So this is what you're probably familiar with. It's the T-slot and it's from 32 to 256 millimeters long. But now we have the MPA. So this is a universal housing and it's from 107 to 1007 millimeters. So a little over a meter it can go. Now, what if you want to use it with a cylinder? Well, we have brackets for you. So we have a round body cylinder bracket, we have a T-slot bracket, we have a tie rod cylinder bracket. But the amazing thing is that you don't have to use it with a cylinder. You can use it with just an external magnet. And you, we have a couple other mounting options if you wanted to use it with just an external magnet as well. But I do have it mounted on a cylinder over here that I'd like to show you. So here it is mounted. Right now we have a capacitive teach pad and two bicolor LEDs. So the blue one is telling us right now that it is in current mode. So it is 4 to 20 milliamps. So if I pull this, you will see we go from 4 up to 20 and back. Now if I press and hold, it will turn over to green. I hold and now I switch to be measuring on the black wire. And now we are 0 to 10 volts. So you can also set the zero point just by tapping and holding. I'm going to try that one more time. Sometimes the capacitive teach pad isn't very cooperative. Tap and hold. One more time. We have to be patient with it sometimes. Tap and hold. And then it should blink. There we go. So that's the zero point. And then we just move it out to where we want the 10 volts to be. And tap it again. And now we have reset from 0 to 10 our switch point. So the other neat thing is you can see that the yellow LED comes on when you're within the taut range. So this is where we taught it the 0, so it's on. And it will turn off when you're out of range. This is particularly handy when you're using it with just an external magnet. If we wanted to restore factory default settings, we just tap and hold, and it will go through the blinking, and then the other LED will blink, and then we'll wait for both of them to blink, and then we let go and tap one more time. And now we're back to factory default with the full stroke of 0 to 10. And that's how our new MPA works. So if you need a cheaper linear encoder or you want to use something with just an external magnet or you have a cylinder that you need a longer stroke than 256 millimeters, which is the MPS, keep the MPA in mind. Happy selling!